and welcome back to the channel on this video uh, as I viewer pointed out last video I wasn't wearing my gloves well I have them on as you can see this time around so we do have that we're ready to roll here and on this video I'm riding the ride one up cafe cruiser and I thought this time around I'm going to do I think it's only the second time I've done this and that's a throttle only ride on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. So that's what I'm doing now. No pedaling. I'm just going to throttle only. And like I say, I think it's only the second time that I've ridden the bike with throttle only. The last time, I believe the last time I did it was when I showed a video as to how to unlock the uh, the speed on the bike to go uh, up to class 3 with the throttle only or close to it anywhere from 25 to 28 miles per hour with throttle only just top speed and on this video though I wanted to talk about something that goes on too often I think and I just can't figure out exactly why it bothers people but it's to do with the e-bike shaming like why you're riding an e-bike a pedal assisted uh, motor assisted bike as opposed to a traditional regular bike and the other one is you're only throttling like I'm doing on this particular video and I really don't know why um, people care what other people are how they uh, choose to ride their bike I I just don't get that and also the uh, folks that are being shamed uh, about it I wouldn't even let it bother me I would just do you know whatever you want to do if you want to ride your bike with pedal assist you should be able to ride your bike with pedal assist if you want to ride with throttle only that's what the throttles on there for if there wasn't if it wasn't meant to be they wouldn't put one on so the whole purpose of an electric bike is to get the assistance and if you don't want to let's say you have a medical issue and you're unable to uh, physically pedal the bike but you still want to get out on a bike why can't you you know why why do you have to be pointed at or accused of riding um, cheating a uh, cheating bike basically anyway uh, for those of you out there that are not riding any bike for that reason then i say don't worry about what the other people are saying thinking let them do what they want to do and you do what you want to do i mean before long here eventually i'm going to get to the point where i will not be able to pedal anymore and i'm still going to come out on my bike as long as i can physically get on the bike and i'm able to uh uh, control the bike um, Then I'm gonna still get on it regardless of whether I can or want to pedal or not and, uh, I mean Personally, I'm not getting any younger. I mean eventually You know your body will uh, Start to say no um, You're not pedaling today or, or but still, I want to be able to uh, ride if I can. And I know there's a lot of people out there that it really bothers them when they uh, get shamed for an e-bike, uh, riding an e-bike. And um, We don't want to see people not riding the e-bike because they're worried what other people are, are thinking or saying to them. 
I do both. I ride my bike uh, with pedal assist, depending on the bike, and and then uh, I have my non-pedal bike that I only throttle, and I'm not going to stop riding that bike. I mean, there's no law that prohibits you from throttling. They have speed limits, but they don't say that you can't ride a bike with throttle. The throttle is on there for that purpose, uh, to uh, help you in whichever way you want to ride, whether it's with that or in a combination of that and pedal. I mean, when I ride this bike here, and I'm normally pedaling it, like I say, I'm not doing it this time. Uh, I thought I would just ride it for uh, this video, just being pedal or uh, being throttle only. But uh, when I come to a stop, like I am right here, and I'm going to go through an intersection, I always use the throttle at any any time um, when I'm at a stop and I to start up because it's easier for me to get the bike going than to try to pedal it from a complete stop. I mean, the bike is a little bit heavier than your traditional bike. And I like to keep mine in gear eight over here. If you can see right here, I have eight speed and I like keeping it in the highest one. So I'm not ghost pedaling. And so I don't want to be changing gears all the time so I just leave it in eight and then I uh, use the throttle to get me going and I like I am right now this bike is oftentimes you'll see me riding this in pedal assist three that's my favorite uh, level and it's perfect because it it gets going at oh anywhere between I think top speed is anywhere from 15 to 18 miles per hour, I'd say, on pedal assist three. And that's on the flat. And it's comfortable. For me, it's the, um, the assist level that I really like riding uh, this bike. And then there's times when I shift, not the gears, but the assist levels. If you're going up a hill, a steep hill and a long one, then I'll go right to the top. Uh, five, there's five pedal assist levels on this bike, and I'll go right to five uh, for that. So that's what, the way I ride, but we're all different. But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about on this video, a little bit about shaming, and don't let it bother you. Don't uh, have it be the reason why you're not riding an electric bike. If you are thinking about getting an electric bike and you don't have one yet, I say go for it. You're going to have a lot of fun and uh, it'll get you out outside and you can ride with uh, all the other uh, bike riders that are out there. There's lots of folks out there and there's more and more getting on e-bikes and enjoying their e-bike and you should too all right well that's going to do it for this video i thought i would do one talking about shaming i haven't had too many issues myself i've had you know very few of that but i know of a lot of people like i hear stories and read a lot about um people that um, are getting shamed for riding their electric bike and I think it's shame on the person who's shaming you for doing that that's my opinion but that's going to do it for this video and hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for uh, supporting us if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification that a new video is up and if you want to comment on this video, maybe you've been uh, shamed before, or maybe you can tell your story, uh, or you have any other comments on this or any other video, go ahead and drop that in the uh, comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time.
keep your wheels on the road. See you later.